Good morning and welcome, and thank you all again for joining us today. My name is Ali Bobak, and I am supporting GIFA with the implementation of Georgia's home energy rebate programs. Today, we will have a general overview of Georgia's home energy rebate programs and where GIFA is in the process of getting funds out to Georgia residents. We will speak about how Georgia residents will be able to access these funds and what the rebates will cover. We will also dig into some key program areas of focus based on feedback we have received prior to today through the survey. Finally, we'll take some time at the end to answer some questions we have received from the survey, as well as questions sent in the Q&A function during the Teams call. So please do feel free to send your questions through the Teams Q&A function. I will note if you are journeying from a Safari browser, you may not be able to use the Q&A function, but you can still send your questions through the survey. We want to emphasize that this is an educational webinar and not all program design requirements have been made, but many design conversations are still pending DOE guidance. Thank you again, and I will now pass it to Christopher Anderson. Good morning. My name is Christopher Anderson, and I'm the Director of Energy Resources at the Georgia Environmental Finance Authority. First, we want to take a moment to thank you for joining us this morning. Public interest and involvement has, has been robust, and we are thrilled at the level of response and desire to participate in the process so far. Today, we are going to start discussing the home energy rebates, which were included in the 2022 Inflation Reduction Act that was passed by Congress. Chifa has access to more than 200 million in funds to distribute home electrification and appliance rebates, or HERE, and home efficiency rebates, or HER, funds through the state of Georgia. We are excited to implement this program, and we are excited to have robust public inputs throughout the process. Today, we hope to leave you with a few things. We want you to have an understanding of the Georgia Home Energy Rebate programs that GIFA will be administering. We want your feedback throughout the survey and your questions answered through Q&A, and we want you to have an understanding of what stakeholder engagement will continue to look like throughout the program. We hope today is a start of our collaboration. We know that a program of this size cannot occur without the support of the community and stakeholders. So thank you again for joining us. Next slide. Before we dive in, I want to speak for a moment about who we are at the Georgia Environmental Finance Authority. GIFA manages programs that conserve and improve Georgia's energy, land, and water resources. GIFA provides loans for water, wastewater, solid waste infrastructure, and land conservation. We are also the state's energy office, where we manage energy efficiency and renewable energy programs, including the state's low-income weatherization program. We work on energy policy and energy security planning in response, and we manage the state-owned fuel storage tank program. In addition, we are developing and managing numerous new energy programs that were funded by the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and the Inflation Reduction Act, including the home energy rebates. Next slide. As mentioned, GIFA is committed to having these types of spaces to update and engage the public. We believe meaningful engagement is beneficial for all stakeholders and that programs will increase their reach towards all population segments, and more households and businesses will benefit from upgraded buildings, and the work will be executed more efficiently and effectively if the workforce is adequately trained. We do not want to wait until the program is implemented to speak to stakeholders across the state. This is why we are here today, and also why we have implemented the public survey which you can see uh, through the QR code that will be displayed throughout the presentation. You can expect that we will take stakeholder feedback seriously and do our best to respond to, and to the extent possible, include the feedback into our design. Next slide. Now we will walk through how Georgia is going to stand up the programs in the coming months. While the funds were approved on the federal side, it took months for DOE to release the program guidance as well as the applications for states to access the funds. We know it is frustrating that it takes a long time for funds to run down from Congress to the state, 
but we want to assure you that Georgia has been in the forefront of this process. Georgia was the fourth state in the nation to submit both initial applications, and we are on track to be in the first cohort of states to submit our implementation blueprints. We are committed to getting these funds to Georgia residents as quickly as possible. Next slide. On March 22nd, GFA submitted both applications for all of the available home energy rebate funding, and we were the first of only four states in the country to do this. In total, GFA has access to almost 220 million in funding for rebates. The DOE applications focus on basic legal and financial requirements of running programs and do not have significant program design components. We are currently drafting the implementation blueprints which will really detail all of the key program design information, which will influence how we will actually implement the programs. The blueprints include our community benefits plan, our education and outreach, data access, and privacy and security and assessment plans. There will also be a market transformation plan to come. These blueprints are the core aspect of design and implementation, and will show how we will execute the program. The webinar and the survey we have shared will influence what is put into our blueprints. Funds could start being out to the community by the end of this year, and the only delay we currently anticipate is DOE releasing more guidance and responding to our applications. Finally, we are targeting to be in market by the end of this year and fully operational with both programs by early next year. We think this program will be open for up to four years, possibly more, depending on how quickly the program funds are used. Next slide. We want to give you an understanding of the core, core areas that GFA is working towards and making key decisions on. As part of this, we have identified key goals that we think are critical for the success of this program. Georgia's home energy rebate programs will have these key tenants as part of the program. We plan to prioritize decreasing energy bur burden for Georgia residents, improving the comfort and quality of Georgia homes, ensuring program access across the state, customer and contractor satisfaction, as well as sustaining the contractor workforce through training. We know that these will be important to having a successful program that can reach residents across the state. Next slide. There are two separate home energy rebate programs that GFA will be administering. Their formal names are the Home Efficiency Rebates Program, also known as HER, and the Home Electrification and Appliance Rebates Program, also known as HERE. But today we will refer to them by what they actually cover. First are the whole home rebates. Whole home rebates focus on improving energy efficiency in the whole home. This work will be driven by contractors who will work with the community and guide customers throughout the process. You can see here what type of upgrades could be included in these energy efficiency changes. They include heat pumps, weatherization, gas water heaters and furnaces, and many more items. The whole home, the whole home rebates are not exclusive to electrification. The second program is the appliance and electrification rebates, or HERE. This will be the point of sale program where the discount is applied immediately at the retail level or by the contractor that installs the equipment. Installation can be DIY or installed by a contractor. Eligible product projects and items for rebates include heat pumps, heat pump water heaters, heat pump clothes dryers, electric stoves, cooktops, ranges or ovens, electric load service centers, including breaker boxes, electrical panels, electric wiring, and insulation, air sealing, and ventilation. Overall, the goals of these programs are to establish innovative efficiency and electrification programs that will create lasting market investments and transformation for Georgians for generations to come. Next slide. Now we will discuss the HER program or the Whole Home Efficiency Program in more detail. These rebates can be used for many different home efficiency measures as long as there are attributable attribu 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 savings. 
HER will be contractor driven. And once the work is completed, the contractor will submit the information to GIFA. We will support contractors through modeling software prior to work, income verification, and support on BPI certification. HER can include items such as heat pumps, induction ranges, and weatherization. We wanted to outline some of the cost savings and rebates that will be available in these programs based on current DOE guidance. Cost savings take into account the household income level and the amount of savings provided in the presented project. There are, these are the current DOE thresholds. We are working to determine best, the best path for Georgia and likely for lower, lower income households, the percentage of the project cost and the total project cost will go up. Finally, we are also considering various ways to model and measure the energy efficiency savings, including with the measured pathway. As you can see on this slide, you can see the specific income levels as they are broken out from zero to 80% area median income, 80 to 150% AMI, and 150% or above area median income. And you can see that the different savings levels vary depending on whether the project saves 20 to 34% or 35% and up. Different income levels within the zero to 80, 80 to 150, or 150 and above are eligible to receive different rebate levels that you can see detailed on the right side of the slide. And again, we are looking at, we are currently reviewing these rebate levels and it's possible that these will change depending on stakeholder input and, uh, and modeling. I will now, pa now pass it back to Allie for the next slide. Thank you, Chris. So as you just reviewed, we have been covering AMI many times in the rebate thresholds. So we just wanted to take a minute to define what is area medium income. AMI is a Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, measure to consider the average household income of a locality, specifically a county. AMI is widely used throughout the country, and it puts an income limit on how the federal government defines low income. The average or median would be 100% AMI, or the midpoint of a community's income distribution. Below average would be 80% AMI. So if a household makes only 80% or 20% less of what is considered the median or average. And 150% AMI would be a household that makes 50% more than the average income of a locality. The AMI is broken out by county, updated yearly, and also takes into account the number, the number of occupants in a household. And using the AMI, allows us to look at localities and the income realities so that funds towards a household in the counties reflect the needs based on a community's average income. Here, we have displayed some example of AMIs in Georgia counties. In this case, we have displayed 80% AMI level, levels for Fulton County, Cobb County, Richmond County, and Handler County. For Georgia's home energy rebate, if a household is low income, they would verify their income through Georgia's secure portal. In most cases, income will be determined using the most recent 1040 tax form within the last year. Categorical eligibility will also be used. We have added a QR code to the slide, which you can scan and find your county's average medium income for your household size. Next slide. Going back to Chris's review of the whole home efficiency rebates, we wanted to walk you through a scenario of Joe. Joe wants to increase his home energy efficiency. So in this scenario, Joe is interested in saving money on his utility bill and increasing the energy efficiency in his home. Joe decides to visit the Jiva website and he learns that a whole home assessment may be the right next step for him. He finds on GFA's website a list of contractors that are participating in Georgia's home energy rebate programs. And he knows that every contractor has been trained on the program and the criteria of participation in the program. So Joe finds a contractor that serves his community and he calls them directly to set up a consultation. 
The contractor goes to Joe's home and he assesses the, the, the contractor assesses the home and proposes a scope of work to improve energy efficiency, which could include various different activities. The contractor then sits down and reviews this with Joe and they agree on a project scope. No, in this case, Joe is not seeking income qualified rebates based on his AMI, but if he were, he would prepare his income documents at this point and submit them to GIFA. After Joe and the contractor agree on a scope, the contractor will take the information from Joe's home assessment and submit it into a portal with GIFA, and GIFA will review eligibility. GIFA will review, provide approval if eligible, and the rebate amount. This is the invoice. After the contractor receives the invoice from GIFA, they will call Joe, provide an update on the scope and the invoice, and they will specifically lay out a cost breakdown between, between the rebate and what Joe will pay. Once they agree, the contractor purchases the equipment and comes to Joe's home and completes the work. The contractor at this point also completes the installation paperwork. Once the work is done, Joe pays the contractor his portion, and then the contractor sends the paperwork to GIFA, who will issue a payment directly to the contractor. We know that this is a long process, but DOE is developing tools to make this direct and easy, and GIFA is also planning to have many supports, including a call center, a robust website, and training programs for the contractors so that they know uh, the different eligibility criteria when they enter the home. This scenario is applicable to many different types of people and homes, and this is just a representative example. We understand that there may be many influencers to this process, such as the supply chain. We hope this gives you a better understanding of the whole home energy efficiency process, and I will now pass it back to Chris. Now I will review the rebate program for home electrification and appliance rebates, or what we call here. This program is focused on efficient electrification and point of sale rebates. The rebates are point of sale and the installation can be by a contractor or DIY and the rebate will be applied when the customer makes the purchase. Here is also income limited for Georgia residents under 150% average area median income. There will be incentives available for contractor installation in specific low income communities as well which will help us reach our Justice 40 goals. You can see here the cost limits for the rebate by the type of product. And again, these rebates can cover heat pump water heaters, heat pumps for space heating and cooling, electric stove cooktop range ovens, as well as a heat pump clothes dryer, electric load service centers, insulation, air sealing and ventilation, and electric wiring. And the maximum amount of a rebate that a household can receive is $14,000. And you can see the cost for each individual measure on the right as well. It's important to note that the rebates vary depending on the income level, even within that zero to 150% range. Below 80% can be eligible to up to 100% of the cost and 80 to 150% up to 50% of the cost. And please note this program is also eligible for multifamily buildings as well and for new construction. Next slide. One question we have received frequently is if rebates will be available retroactively. First off, we recommend that if an upgrade is needed in the home, that it should be done as soon as possible. Secondly, Retroactive rebates are not eligible under the Appliance and Electrification Rebate Program, only the Whole Home Rebate Program, or HER. Eligible whole home, whole home rebate projects must have begun either on or after August 16, 2022. However, an energy savings estimate consistent with BPI 2400 must have been completed prior to the installation of the retrofit. Additional details regarding the requirements of a retroactive rebate can be found on the GIFA and DOE websites. And you can Chris. scan the QR code as well on the slide for more information. Chris, we've had a lot of questions about retroactive rebates, so I just wanted to ask you two additional questions that we received from the community. First, we were asked by the community if GIFA plans to add any additional requirements for re retroactive rebates. 
That's a good question, Ali. No, we are not planning on adding any additional requirements for retroactive rebates. Great, thank you. And and one other one we're seeing commonly is where can I find out how to get a retroactive rebate? I have all my documentation and I'm ready to apply right now. Currently, the guidance from DOE would be the steps that you would need to follow to get a retroactive payment. How GFA will be administering the retroactive payments. However, right now you cannot apply to get one at this time. Great, More information so will be forthcoming. Next slide. So GFA understands that a very important aspect of this program will be supporting a robust contractor network. We know that the program will not work if we don't have enough contractors available in the network. This will include supporting a trained group of contractors who are available throughout the state. We will have a rolling contractor network where we will approve and accept contractors into the program and make this information public throughout the state. Our goal is to ensure quality standards, standards are in place, but that the list is also accessible to a wide variety of contractors across Georgia. We plan to work extremely closely with contractors including having dedicated staff available to work directly with contractors across the state. We also know that there are training needs for contractors in Georgia to make them eligible to work in the home energy rebates programs. We are already having conversations regarding upskilling the workforce. As part of this, we will be utilizing a separate but related DOE grant called Training for Residential Energy Contractors or TREC. We are currently working to develop what the training programs will look like, but please know that we are putting a lot of effort into making sure that we have training available across the state because, again, we want the contractor, contractor network to be accessible to as many contractors as possible across the state while also ensuring that those quality standards are in place. Next slide. Chris, we've gotten many FAQs, but before jumping into the FAQs, we did want to give the community some helpful links as we move forward in the planning process. Linked here, you will see some QR codes uh, with helpful resources. First, we have the Department of Energy site where they are releasing all program guidance and resources as they continue to plan. This is a great way to keep up with the most updated information on the program, but you can also trust that GFA is reviewing this information and will put any relevant updates on the GFA site. Additionally, we have the press release of the release of funds where it shows how many funds Georgia has received. We also have linked GFA's website. And again, if you're not on our email list, we highly encourage you to join. If you fill out the survey, which is the fourth link, not only can you give us additional feedback and ask additional questions, but you can also sign up for GFA's email list on the survey. And finally, we have linked area medium income again. As you saw throughout the presentation, area medium income will influence the rebate amounts that a household can access. So we do encourage households to check what is your 2024 AMI. Chris, we've gotten many questions today during the webinar, as well as through our survey. Thank you so much again to the community for engaging with the program on this and sending all of your thoughts and questions. We're going to answer a few now, but we probably will not get to all of them today. We will be publishing an FAQ in the coming days and building on it in the coming weeks. We will also use your questions to inform our design. As mentioned, Department of Energy guidance on many of these questions has yet to be released, but we will continue to monitor and update. Chris, shall we jump into the FAQs? Let's go ahead. All right. One question we received is, when will I receive my rebate check? So Georgia residents will not receive a direct payment from GFA. The rebates are designed to reduce the overall cost to the purchase price for the resident. So GFA will review all project proposals and scope to ensure that rebate discount benefits apply to the homeowner slash applicant. Contractors will be reimbursed once the final application is submitted and approved by GFA. Rebate payments may then come in the form of either ACH or a check to the contractor. 
Great, thank you. Um, and how is GFA planning to protect consumers and ensure that retailers and contractors do not inflate prices when conducting the work? Consumer protection is certainly a very important part of the program. We're developing a consumer protection plan that includes mechanisms to try and prevent price inflation. More details will be shared at the time of program launch. Perfect. Um, let's see, one other individual asked us, I live in an apartment, can I still participate in the program? Absolutely. Uh, people who live in apartments or multifamily housing are eligible or buildings are eligible to participate in the program. Please work with your property manager or building owner to coordinate building wide participation in the program. All right, let's see what else we have here. Oh, one question that I'm seeing quite a bit of is, um, is GFA going to be providing rebates that specifically meet the needs of disadvantaged communities? Yeah, that's something that we're working very hard on to try and determine exactly how to reach those communities in the best way and also what the best rebate levels are to encourage participation. So for households that are less than 80% of AMI, GFA is considering providing rebates at a higher level than those set by DOE to make the projects more feasible. And beyond the rebates, we believe this program will benefit a robust workforce in the communities themselves. And GFA will support a robust statewide contractor network of contractors who live and work in those communities across the state. Great. Um, I have one here that I think I can answer. One, one person asked, how do we join the email list to become a contractor? So if you just join GFA's general email list and specifically in the survey, put your questions, we'll be sure to send out all relevant information to the whole community to that list. So just join the GFA email list and you will get the information that you need. Um, let's see, one person asked, Chris, I'm actually a couple people asked, do I have to use a specific contractor to receive a rebate? Yes, you'll have to use a specific contractor or a contractor that is on the approved list for within the contractor network. So if you if you know someone who is a contractor and you want to use them and they're not on the list, you know, please refer them to our website where there'll be more information on how to get on the list. Um, but yes, only approved contractors will be allowed to work in both the HER and HERE programs. Great, so another reason to join the email list and fill out the survey. Um, and then for the households, where can they, once you have this list, can you remind us where they can find qualified contractors once the program is launched? Yes, of course, a, a list of qualified contractors will be available on the program website, which of course will be uh, available off of the GFA website as well. So if you are interested in participating in the program or want to see the list of contractors, please uh, go to the program website and we will have a, a published list of contractors ready by the time the program is launched later this year. Perfect. Um, I think those were all the common questions I'm seeing now. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. Graham, if you could go to the next slide. So I'm seeing some additional questions that we certainly plan to respond to in a published FAQ in the coming days and build out in the coming weeks. And as I said earlier, your questions are informing our design. Um, this survey as well, linked again here, will inform our design and will inform the questions that GFA responds to in the published F FAQ. And with that, I will leave it with Chris. We just want to really thank you again for joining us this morning. Um, it's been it's a it's a long process to get this program up and running, but you know please understand that we are working as hard as possible to get these dollars out across the state. And your participation and stakeholder and, and stakeholder feedback is really important to the success of this program. So again, I encourage you to 
respond to the, um, the survey that's linked from this presentation with the QR code. Um, please do look out for the FAQ responses posted on our website in coming days. And uh, know that we will, this won't be the last time that you'll hear from us about this program. We are actively engaging with different groups across the state, and we look forward to continuing the stakeholder involvement in this process. And we look forward to rolling out the rebates across Georgia later this year. So again, thank you for joining us and please reach out at any time if you do have any questions or concerns. Thank you.